So in this equation, we have citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate, also called sodium bicarbonate. It's kind of an intimidating looking equation to balance, so we'll use a trick to make it easier. And what we're going to do is this C6H5O7, that's called the citrate ion. So we're just going to count it as one thing because we have it here and we have it over here. So if we just call it one thing, that'll make it a lot easier to balance this equation. So we have three hydrogens plus we have the one hydrogen here that gives us four. We're going to ignore these because they're in the citrate ion. We just have one of these citrate ions. Put that there. One sodium, one carbon, and then three oxygens. Product side, we have two hydrogens here. We're going to ignore these. Then we have our one citrate ion three sodiums, one carbon, and two plus one. So we have three oxygen atoms. So now we can really see what we need to do to balance this equation. I like to balance oxygens and hydrogens last. Let's balance the sodium first. If we put a three here, one times three, that'll give us three sodium atoms. This three goes to the whole thing, so three times the one. This three goes to the whole thing, so let's update our hydrogen atoms here. We have the 3 out here, plus we have the 3 times the 1. That gives us 6 of those. 3 times the 1 carbon, that'll give us 3 of those. And then 3 times 3, that'll give us 9 oxygens. But we did balance the sodium, so that's a good start. Let's just do the carbon next. We could put a 3 in front of the carbon dioxide. 1 times 3, that balances those. Let's update the oxygens here. Now we have 3 times 2, 6, plus we have 1 here in the water. So now we have 7. What do we need to do? Let's fix the hydrogens. That might even balance the whole equation here. So we have 6 here and 2 here. We put a 3 here. 2 times 3, that'll give us 6. We need to update these oxygen atoms. We have 3 times 2, that's 6 plus 3 times 1. That gives us 3. We're done. This equation's balanced. So by counting this acetate ion here as just one thing, like we did right here, that makes it a lot easier to balance the equation. You get the same answer. It's just a lot faster. And time does matter on exams. Finally, if we look at the states for each of these substances, we have everything as aqueous, except the carbon dioxide, that's a gas, and water, which is a liquid. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for citric acid plus sodium bicarbonate. Thanks for watching.